right after Dick Kaufman got me started on them, I got my friend Pee Wee King. Of course, you all know him because he's a Hall of Famer and he's a tremendous talent, a writer. Tennessee Walsh and I can go on and on and on, but if you'll all get together and bring him up here with us. You ready to take them on some of them? He wants to get paid, though. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> Baby. Tommy got bit by the bug, and he, he got bit bad because today he said, I'm going to follow you and Cal all of these places and have fun with you all the time. Right. You know, <laughs> that's right. Of course, I'm looking forward to having some of that medicine with you tonight. <laughs> It'll cure everything. <laughs> As Minnie Pearl used to say, when her uncle took one drink of your medicine, it calmed and relaxed him. There was sometimes he was so relaxed he was stoned. Cal <laughs> told a story about me last night, and I got to thinking, what can I tell about him? I didn't say anything about you about tonight. I yeah. said good things tonight. I know you did, see, but I, now I'm going to say good things about you. Yeah. When I was a kid, I didn't want to be a cowboy, I want to be a parachute jumper. I don't know why, I just, I figured that that was a good ambition, so my dad taught me how to jump uh, with a parachute. About 12, 15, 16 years old, every weekend he'd say, okay, you start me out on the chair, and then I got on the ladder, and then I got on the higher ladder, and then on the barn, and he said, there's three things you gotta remember. He says, first, to jump. And then pull that big cord. And he said, if that doesn't help you, he says you gotta go ahead and go to the emergency cord. That's the second step. And third, he says, it'll bring you down and there's always a truck to come and take you and carry you back when you start. So as luck would have it, the first chance I got, we played Fort Campbell. I was just a kid. They took me up in an airplane and I said, okay, Pop, what do I do now? He says, jump. Step number one, I jumped out. I started thinking, now what the heck did he tell me? So we had a big, pulled a big chain. I did, I pulled a big ring on that there. Nothing happened. And I got kind of scared. And I pulled the second one. I waited and waited. My dad told me, don't worry about it. It's going to open up eventually. And as I was going down, I saw a fella coming up and it was Cal. <laughs> And I said, hey, Cal, do you know anything about parachutes? He said, hell no, do you know anything about gasoline stoves? <laughs> My wife reminded me of a joke that Buck Trent told a long time ago, and, and I, it kind of served a purpose. Little kid, kind of a mean, ugly boy and everything else. Finally, he got to be 16 years old, and he said to his dad, he said, Dad, if you don't buy me a car, I'm going to run away from home. And his dad said, I'll tell you what, what I'll do. I promise you I'll get you a car. If you bring up your grades to A, or even an A minus, he says, and then you read the Bible and study it. And number three, he says, get your hair cut. So the boy remembered that all year long. He worked hard on this race. He read the Bible. Finally, tapped his dad on the shoulder one evening. He said, Dad, I did everything you told me to. He said, I read the Bible. I got A's and a couple of B's in, in school. And he says, now it's time for my car. He says, well, Dad, he says, uh, Father says, but you didn't get your hair cut. He says, well, but I did the other things you told me to. He says, and then I, I read in the Bible too that Jesus had long hair. And of course, he uh, walked around preaching the gospel. And his dad said, that's right. If you got a little further down, you noticed that even if he had his long hair and his grades were where they should be, he still walked everywhere instead of driving the car. <laughs> Music is noted for, 
And that was a song that you mentioned Jimmy Davis. I got to thinking about a song that he had written called You Are My Sunshine. And if you all join me in the key of I guess it'd be good enough. Well, that's good enough. <laughs> and you won't notice a difference anyway the way I sing it. <laughs> Boy, you did a job on that, didn't you? Right. <laughs> oh, but that chicken thing, you know? I wish Cal would have had another egg. You could lead an egg on that one. <laughs> so come on and join me. You are my sunshine.